Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be taking you guys through a full glute and hamstring workout. And it's super exciting because this is gonna be fully mic'd up. So I'll be giving you some tips. I'll be going through the sets and reps as well as helping you guys through some form techniques. Let's get started. ready to do some hip thrusts. What I do with hip thrusts, and you guys are not gonna like me for it, but I do a tri set. We do eight to 10 cast glute bridges, eight to 10 hip thrusts, and then hold as long as I can. The reason why I do the ranges like eight to 10 is because as I increase the weight, I'm not able to do as many reps as I can in the first set. The difference between a cast glute bridge and a hip thrust is really the range of motion. With cast glute bridges, we extend only a little bit down and then push back up. With hip thrusts, we extend all the way down as far as we can and then push up. All right, so start with cast glute bridges. Right into hip thrusts, extend all the way down, push up. Eight, nine, and hold. Oh my God, that is brutal. We're gonna add 25, just cause. If there's a spider in here, I just need you guys to know that I'm leaving. So if there's anything bigger than a potato bug in here, I'm out. Okay, hip thrusts, one. thought that I could, I could do a mic'd up workout. I can't even talk to people in the gym. Now I'm not gonna procrastinate this time, so I'm gonna just go for it. Ah. Nine. 
10 all the way down. Oh my god. Okay, we're adding 10 to each side. Was that a hair or a web? This one, I'm probably gonna do less reps. I'm gonna probably aim for eight class glute bridges, eight hip thrusts, and then hold as long as I can. Let's do this. Okay. One. Seven. Eight. No. Okay. One. Two. Five. I don't even know if that was a hold at the end, but all I saw was black. Moving on to split squats. With split squats, I do four sets of 10 to 12. If you like split squats now, you're not gonna like them at the end of this, I promise. I'm gonna start with my, I'm gonna start with my left leg forward. When I extend up, I like going in a diagonal position. This will really help target the glutes instead of going up and down, which targets the quads a bit more. Oh my God, I almost threw up, okay. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to talk during this. 10 to 12, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oh my God, 11, duh. Down. That's brutal, but you have to do it twice. So it's really like you're doing it eight times. Who created this? Left foot now. I don't like procrastinating in the middle because then I'll never get it done. And That is crazy. We have to do this three more times.
We're progressing. Let's go. Left leg. This is what it feels like. We're gonna up the weight because we can do this, okay? to 12, let's go. Now right foot forward, left foot back, and bend. Final set. Last one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That was embarrassing, all right. Moving on. What I usually like doing with kickbacks is a glute medius focused one. So two sets of those and then two sets of regular kickbacks. So regular kickbacks, let's do first set of 10 to 12. I'll probably go for 12 and then up the weight and go for 10. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <laughs> Let's up the weight a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now for glute medius. I pretend I'm in a box and I have my front right, front left, back right, back left. My feet are gonna be pointed towards the top right corner. And as I extend back, I'm gonna to extend to the back right corner. So pretend you're in that box. Feet facing top right and extend back. Back right corner. So now let's add a little bit more weight. Back right corner, back right. The left foot, you're gonna face forward, have your toes pointing towards the top left, and extend towards a diagonal line from the top right to the back left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 10, 11, 12. One more set. Let's up the weight a little bit. One, two, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last leg. Let's do this. Let's go. One, two. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah, RDLs, last one. So now with RDLs, we start at the top, dumbbells right out our hips. There's gonna be a slight bend to your knees. So as you hinge forward, you're going to bend simultaneously and then up. The key focus here is not to overextend because then that's when you start feeling pressure onto your back. So don't try to go all the way down. Try to extend to as far as your hamstrings will allow you without you completely arching your back. So as you go down, you're gonna hinge, 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 hinge. And this is about my stopping point. And then extend up. Another one, let's go. Okay, my problem tends to be when it comes to the last exercise, I like to procrastinate in between sets and it takes me like 10 years to do each one. So I'm just gonna go right into the second one before I start procrastinating and then I lose my intensity. So let's do this. Second, second set. Let's go. Okay, time to get 40s. This feels so heavy. All right, time to do this. We're going right into it. Let's go. 10 reps. Eight, nine, ten. 
one last set. Let's go. No procrastinations. We got this. done guys i am a sweaty mess but thank you so much for watching this follow along workout make sure to like comment subscribe and let me know what you want to see next in the next video love you so much i will see you next time bye